Okay, you guys, today I'm gonna walk you through how to do a hollow hold. Now, hollow holds are one of those exercises that when you look at it, you're kind of thinking, oh, that's it? Oh, that's not hard, until you actually do it. And then you think, oh my God, this is the hardest thing I've ever done. Hollow holds are such a great exercise for building a strong core, stomach, back, everything. And the best thing about hollow holds, it's the position that you want to learn how to do well when you do chin-ups. It's gonna help you progress to that first chin up. So the good thing about hollow holds too is that there's a couple of ways that you can progress them, okay? So I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then I'll show you if you can't quite get it here, I'll show you what you can do and progress up to it, okay? So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to lay down on your back um, and the goal with a hollow hold is to make sure your back gets pushed into the floor super hard the entire way, okay? So we're gonna be down here, back, let me move my mic here. Okay, so back is gonna be pushed down into the floor the whole way. You want your legs straight, and the higher your legs go, the easier this will be. So if you can't hold this position with your back into the ground with your legs low, then get them high. But I'll show you what it's gonna look like. We're gonna kind of form like a banana shape almost. It's gonna look like this. So let's break down this position. First of all, I'm not just kind of hanging out up here. My legs are engaged. I'm squeezing my quads, I'm squeezing my glutes, so my legs just aren't hanging up there in the air. They are fully engaged and tight. My back is pressed down into the floor and my arms are overhead and I'm engaging the shoulders. They're just not up in the air. They are back and engaged. Let me show it to you again. So I got my back down, I got my legs up in the air, engaged, tight, tight, arms overhead, tight, chin is tucked, and we hold this. And you can hear my voice start to shake. This is really super hard. Now, option, you don't have to put your arms overhead. You can put your arms down at your side, and that would look like this. So my legs are gonna stay the same, back's pushed down, my arms are right here, and I'm pushing my low back down. And even you can put your arms down on the ground if you want, bring your legs up a little bit, that helps keep the low back into the ground. And then you want to eventually be able to lower your legs and lower them just a little bit, still keeping a bit of a curve, pushing the low back into the ground. So hollow holds, typically you hold them for like 20 seconds, maybe 30. You really don't need to hold them any more than that, okay? So try hollow hold, start with your arms at your side and then progress with your arms up over your head and shoulders engaged, okay? Let me know what y'all think.